Hey there, in this tutorial I'd like to very quickly show you how you can create this kind of shock animation, it could be used as a transition or as a little motion element. So the easiest way to get this done is let me head on to a new composition. Of course you can press Ctrl Y and select any background, but the background isn't the most important. The most important thing is to use the pen tool and create your first shape layer. Mm, I've clicked one, maybe one too many. I made it rounded here because I clicked and I dragged and I wanted this to be more like this, but actually this looks pretty fine. Don't worry about the fill because when it comes to the fill, we can easily get rid of it. All right, so we have the first element. You can see the shape layer and we need to prepare the animation first, but this is very simple. You open the shape layer you add trim pads, opening the trim pads and please start with 0, 0. Make two keyframes, go maybe one second forward, make 100, 100. Now take the upper keyframes, the starting keyframes and place them a bit forward. If you want the animation to have another motion, you can also right click keyframe assistant, easy ease them. Then you could go eventually into the graph editor and ease those animation a little forward, maybe a little backward as well, so they will gain momentum. All right, so this is how this shape layer would look like. Boom. Okay, a pretty fine animation. I like the slower end. And what to do with this now? You can click on this. You can press Ctrl D. All right, we have it duplicated. You can press R to open up the rotation and give it another rotation. I can even take this uh, pressing V with my mouse click and just making it bigger. With the rotation, make the rotation and make it bigger so it extends until the end of the screen. But what's most important here, I want to change the motion path a little. For that, I need to open the shape layer. Let me close that down. I need to open the contents and my shape which I created is a path and I need to click on the path. But click here on the path one, not opening in clicking here in the path because this will select the entire object, but you want to select this path one. This way, when you select this path one inside the shape by having the selection tool, you see those open rectangles and those open rectangles, let's change this path a little maybe making another curve here, making the end a little different, just so both will not be the same. All right, boom, like that. Right now, I would have two animations. They're kind of different. I would need to change the color of the stroke here. I would need to maybe place it a bit forward so they don't start exactly in the same position. And perfect. Now I can just duplicate, press R, rotate it another way around. Just open, open the contents, the shape, click on the path. And again, you can even delete path points if you don't want those path points to be as extensive. And let's make something crazy like that. I'll delete this, delete this. Maybe I'll make another curve here. All right. This will be totally crazy. And we have this result. This one goes a little different, um, a lot actually different than those previous ones. And I have now three shapes. What's stopping me from just selecting all three, pressing Ctrl D, pressing R, adjusting the rotations, and so quickly I managed to get like six of them. I would need to reposition them a bit to, to be a bit staggered, to start and stop later, earlier. Now I would need to change the colors and this is how you very, very simply can get an animation like that, which is a really cool opener motion element. I really hope you enjoy such tutorials because there's a lot of information to be gained from, from such a technique. Just remember, if you are having trouble selecting the middle, you can always snap it like that. Then you just take those objects and you try to snap the beginning of them into this point. Now this is not perfectly the middle. If I wanted the middle to be perfectly, I would need to either open the grid or open my title action safe. Here is the middle, so I should take them here. And this is 
how I could position all those starting points perfectly here. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in other cool tutorials like this. Bye.